Hey everybody, Jeff Jackson here, Cropland by Winfield United Alfalfa and Ford Specialist. Going to talk to you about nitrates. So every year we get this call about nitrates and, and how do we manage it in our sorghum crop? Well, there's two big things to keep uh, into consideration. If we do have a situation where we have high nitrates in our crop, first of all, let's just go take a sample. Let's know where we're at. Let's benchmark it and see what's going on. So if we're doing Ford sorghum or sorghum sedan, in a stored silage situation, just remember that fermentation will help us reduce that nitrate potential, you know, maybe up to 40, 50% in the pile. So we do need fermentation. So green tropping, a high nitrate crop, and feeding it straight is not an option. You need to either blend that feed down with another crop that's not high in nitrates, or again, we need to go through fermentation, 30, 60, 90 days would be great. So realistically, the silage crop, we can manage the nitrates. Now, if we're going to graze that crop, say we're going to go graze some sorghum sedan, the cows are not going to graze that thing starting with the lower portion of the stem. So we all know that most of the nitrates are stored in the lower third of the stalk on these plants. Corn's the same way. The leaves, this leaf material is very, very low in nitrates. The upper portion of that plant is very low in nitrates, but it gets higher as we go down. So, if we want to reduce nitrates, we can chop higher to leave more of the nitrate in the residue. If we're going to graze, we're going to start grazing the leaf material, which is very low in nitrates. Then we're going to graze down. So, as we graze, that system of that cow, that rumen, is going to uh, acclimate to that process. And as we graze down, she's going to you know, get a little more nitrate in her system, but she's going to adjust to that. Now, I would suggest that most people go ahead and put a grass hay bale on the edge of the field so they've got something else to chew on if they start feeling an upset stomach. So again, if you're going to chop, it has to ferment. If you're going to try to feed it as a green chop, you probably have to blend it if you have a high nitrate problem. But again, let's go sample the crop. Now, guys have asked, well, I've got this sorghum sedan out there. I still want to make dry hay, and it tells me that it's high in nitrates. After I cut it, what's going to happen to the nitrates? You're not going to go through fermentation. If you're going to do dry hay, whatever nitrate is in the plant will stay in the plant. So if you do have a dry sorghum sedan or sedan crop, or maybe you bailed some sor uh, forage sorghum, and it's dry, the nitrates aren't going anywhere. If you're higher moisture in a bale and you're going to do baleage, again, the fermentation happens. We can reduce that by 30, 40, maybe up to 50%. So Nitrates can be managed. Let's just all be aware of it. Let's talk about it. Let's take samples and tests so we know where that whole plant material is at. Again, let's manage nitrates in these crops. It's Jeff Jackson. Have a great day.